Everyone talked about how hard you worked on the dance sequence. If your hands are shaking, just turn them into jazz hands. How, um, what role does dance play in your life? And being able to do it professionally, does it just like bring you joy? Does it add a dimension? Yeah, I mean, it. It's uh, it scares me. I was lucky enough to have these. I had three dancers, and particularly one, Beth, um, and then I had another dancer, Jack and Brendan, and all three of them who are Broadway dancers, and their discipline and their skill is extraordinary. And then we had a choreographer, Casey, who actually did the show on Broadway, and I was terrified because I thought, oh, I can come in and dance, and then they were like, no, you're dancing, Fosse, and I'm like uh right yeah yeah okay I can do that and they're like no people train for 20 years to dance Fosse so then I was like oh my god and it was like cramming for an exam the zazz comes from within do the moves and give it some zen because there's particular movements for Fosse yeah. and there's ways in which the hands and there's ways in which your foot as meant to turn out I mean when you're really particular about it as as you know there's it's it's a skill that is very almost different to just dancing did you practice with your kids I practiced in front of them and they would come <laughs> go, Ooh, not so good at the beginning oh, then I started to get into it but they're oh, really? um yeah they, they were tough I'd be like, no, no, I'm doing it now. And they'd be like, mm, mama. Um, well, um, I and think this we... one is a really good dancer. And she would do it with me. I also wanted to ask you about this character because uh, she's a hard worker. And I think that's analogous to you. Um, and it made me wonder, I've seen you be injured and get up and deliver. Um, and it made me wonder You've always been this huge talent, but talent isn't enough in this industry. So in your early career, did you have to fight to be seen beyond the beautiful woman, beyond being, I don't know, married to a movie star, to be seen as, uh, and get the chance? I think it was more stay the course. It was like I would have, I've had a number of actually older female mentors in my life. And when I've cried and broken down and been really distraught at times and felt like, you know, either my personal life or my professional life is falling apart or I've been injured or I've had emotional distress or all of those things, I've had these these women step in and help me and advise me and and one of the great one of the great things one of them said to me was it's the journey and over the course of a lifetime is how your character will be seen how you will as a person be that's that's the way a career works it's the way a marriage works it's the way your life and your identity will be seen so it's almost like it, you know, it's, it's a, it's, there's a long, long road. So don't take the small things and don't make it into this. It's this. And that has given me such salvation at different times in my life. Well, um, and there's always tomorrow because that is a choice until it isn't, you know, and there's one thing we don't control, which is that, you know, we're not the, um, we don't control our death, so, um, but we do control um, how we respond to things. And that was also great advice to me. So I pass it on. People can throw that out the window and go, nah, I don't agree with her. Or they can take some, what, whatever, whatever I've learned along my path, I'm definitely willing to share. Well, that's inspirational. And may I say, you got the fussy boots down so perfectly <laughs> that I was busy dancing with it also. <laughs> Good. Oh my gosh, it's hard, isn't it? It is. Thank Nothing you. like you, but I had fun. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> you. I give it some time.